that's the thing. Doing a no shop January is hard because everything's on sale. Like everything. So it only makes sense to buy in January and then don't buy in February or March. <laughs>it's monica and welcome back to my channel welcome to i would say this is the first luxury haul of 2023 um it's not all luxury um i do have some other things that probably were just gifted to me but really it's just showing you guys some of the new things that i've been collecting over the last month and towards the end of december um, I was going to originally make this video a New York Fashion Week prep, but not all the pieces that I got for Fashion Week have arrived. But I'm going to share some of the new pieces that I got strictly for Fashion Week. Um, I'll try on some things with you guys too. It's fun. So this is just a very relaxed, laid back, very casual video. Um, I want to definitely do more videos like this where I don't feel pressure that it has to be perfect and the outfits have to be perfect, but just really just showing... Um, what's been going on with me, um, some of the things that I picked up at all price points and all that fun stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to also show, um, uh, I, you know, I think I'll save it for another video. I, I got a new desk and chair for my office and I put it together myself. Yay. And I was going to share that in this video, but I'm going to make this video just a fashion video. And I'll just, I'll probably just share that with like a, in a vlog where I do like an office tour or whatever. And I'm not doing the office tour right now because my office is a mess. <laughs> so, um, and mess by my standards is not really a mess, but it's just messy enough for me. Anywho, I'm going to jump right into it because we've got a rack of stuff here and there's shoes there's belts there's sunglasses there's a whole bunch of things um and i got some really cute stuff that was just gifted to me by a few brands so i'm just gonna share all of that so before we jump into the video if this is your first time visiting my channel what's up i'm monica and i'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of atlanta and if you love fashion fashion and more fashion make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video in addition to fashion videos i do share a little bit of home content because i'm kind of obsessed with home decor or, um, I travel a lot so a little bit of everything so basically if you love my vibe go ahead and subscribe because we have fun here it's a fun channel promise you'll ha you'll have a good time promise anyhow now let's get into the video okay so I figure I'm gonna start with the accessories first and then I will do the clothes because I want to try them on for you guys um, so first up I got this gorgeous Chanel belt with the silver, white on one side, black on the other side, so you can wear them both ways. I did something with Neiman Marcus in December and they gave me a big gift card, so I got this belt, um, which I'm obsessed with. I love it. Um, I do have black belts, I have white belts. I've got a white Valentino belt, but it's white and gold. And I don't have, if I'm correct, I didn't have any black and silver belts. So I figured this is a great, why not? And I didn't want to buy a bag, um, so I got the belts and I got earrings. I'm going to share the earrings before I share the second belt I got. So these are the... Oops. <laughs> I don't want to break them. I've been breaking stuff lately. Okay, so these are the earrings that I got. They have this more of a vintage look. And I really wanted something that had a vintage kind of vibe in terms of earrings from Chanel. I haven't been able to find earrings that I absolutely love. So seeing these, I was pretty impressed. I love them. I wore them in Abu Dhabi. I feel like I shared these with you guys on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, y'all need to follow me, especially for my stories. I'm truly having a great time on Instagram with stories. I wish there was something like that on YouTube, but it's just really fun because I feel like I really get to interact with you guys there um, and there's a lot of you guys from YouTube from here that are on um, Instagram and interacting with me so it's really really fun so if you're not following me make sure you follow me it's odd by Monty we have tons of fun you get to see pretty much everything there first so 
follow me on Instagram. Okay, so in addition to the Chanel belt and the earrings, I picked up this black on black Valentino belt. You guys probably saw me shopping for this in my Toronto, no, my Abu Dhabi, Toronto vlog. I did a vlog just highlighting all the things that I did um, while I took a break. Um, I'm finding that, I'm finding that the last couple of videos that I did really did not get a lot of traction and I'm thinking um, maybe because I just I did all six for the month of January in two weeks um, so if you haven't seen that vlog I will link it in the description box I'll have the thumbnail pop up but basically there were six videos in January and they all went live towards the end of the month so there's a lot of fun content for you guys to catch up on right after you finish watching this of course anywho we love this belt the black on black is everything I do wish it was reversible but I'm okay with it not because I just I love that matte black finish I just feel like it's very sleek it's very chic um and it's just to me it's everything I also have this belt in the white and it's that same kind of concept white on white no hardware but just very clean very simple and I personally like that I'm not necessarily really into screaming logo so even for the Chanel belt I still find it very hard to wear but I find that belts are classic and they're timeless so um it's always nice to just have them there just in case there's an outfit that it works well for but yes this is still the logo don't get me wrong but there's something that there, to me it's just a f cleaner finish when it's black on black or when it's the same color when it's not like in your face in a metal so that's why I love this and I'm very happy with these um accessory purchases on to the next well there's all of it's the next <laughs> let's keep on going okay so your girl got a lot of sunglasses <laughs> basically but this was th these were gifted so i've worked with key in the past um it's spelled quay it's spelled q u a y but after working with the brand it's like it's pronounced key and um i worked with them I can't I think during the holidays so when I got back from my trip they sent me a ton of glasses so they sent me six glasses I'm gonna try them all on for you guys I think I've shared like one or two in the first winter haul that I did and then I, I think I might have shared some on Instagram like I said if you're not following me make sure you follow me <laughs> anyway I'll try them on for you guys they're all really fun this pair I love because it's clear and I love that square frame I feel like it looks really good especially with this new hair wig um, so we love that one also shared it on TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, guys, you need to follow me there too. This pair is so cool. I love, I love these. Of course, guys, I will link everything for you guys in the description box because these glasses are super affordable and they're so fly. And I love them. Like this, it's the bling detail for me. Like everything. I love this. I think th this pair is my favorite. But there's more. Then we also have this black on black pair. Very cool. We love the silhouette. And then they set the tortoiseshell option. Also very cool. I really love this. I love them all, I won't lie. <laughs> the white pair, I've also worn this pair. I think I shared this pair in my last outfit of the day. Oh, it's weird. Whenever I put them on, like I can't even see the screen. That's so weird. Anywho, this is a great pair too. They're really dark. Like I literally because I'm using I'm cheating I'm looking at you guys through the viewfinder and I can't see you guys when I put them on but these are amazing I love these and last but not least we've got this pair in lilac which ooh, these are really nice. I haven't ooh, these are really nice I haven't worn these out yet but these are really nice I like the lilac I, I lilac looks good against my skin I like these a lot so those are the glasses I got from key I did pick up a pair of green Valentinos which I think I shared with you guys in a haul um also when I picked up the belt however I'll show you guys what happened to my new very expensive by the way glasses I could cry one moment y'all I don't know what happened but these glasses are too expensive for this to be the situation like I've probably worn them once or twice so I'm going to take them into the Valentino store and hopefully they can do something for me because if I can't wear these to fashion week I am going to cry and I'm not trying to buy them like they were too expensive so they're gorgeous I love them but that that's what's going on with, and I'm I'm afraid to even move it because I don't want it to break but these are also a fabulous pair I just I messed them up okay we still have a few more accessories well ooh, I got a necklace and then I'm gonna share two pairs of shoes that I have. I'm telling you, I started January thinking that, yes, this is gonna be a breeze, I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm gonna be good. 
But once I decided to go to Fashion Week, then it was just like, I guess it's a wrap. So I've been shopping for Fashion Week. Um, and then I feel like after Fashion Week, I'm really good because I really want to do more of shopping my closet. But even for this Fashion Week, you're going to see a lot of outfits that feature just old things that have been in my closet because I'm, I just really want to have fun with the clothes that I have. But I do feel like I want to update the pieces that I have. So I'm picking up a lot of really cool accessories, including this necklace. It's so cute. I love this. I have an outfit in mind. Um, and of course, you guys will see all the full outfits on Instagram. So make sure you're following me. I will do a New York Fashion Week re recap vlog as well. But this necklace from Givenchy is everything. I love it. It's got the little lock, shark lock, or whatever they call it, detail. Um, it's two-tone. So that's also really cool. I hope you guys can see that and it's not just focusing on my face. But yes, it's two-tone, so I can wear it with gold, I can wear it with silver. You guys know I love to mix my metals, so this was excellent. And I have to confess, I did get this necklace because I got some boots. If you're following me on TikTok, I know I'm telling you guys to follow me, follow me, follow me. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that you guys don't miss anything. But if you're following me on TikTok, you've already seen these boots. They are everything. But before I show you the boots, I want to show you guys these um, platform sandals that a brand sent to me because they're really fun. They're really cute. So this is the name of the brand, Pele Moda. Um, really pretty. They sent me their line sheets and I picked this pair. And they're super fun. They're in this beautiful, like gold metallic material really pretty very comfortable easy to wear they fit my big feet they sent me a size i think this was a 41 if i'm correct and it fits perfectly to be honest oh gosh i need to put my glasses back on one moment please okay so they are a size 11 so a 41 and they're a perfect fit um and they're really pretty i like them i picked them myself so these are really fun i think i would wear these more so when um spring summer comes along so these are a fun pair so stay tuned to see how i style these now let's show the really fun shoes Ooh, i'm so excited about these all right so your girl got her dream shoes or boots rather i have been eyeing these boots for years but you know i have big feet so finding my size is pretty hard um i'm actually shocked that i did find these shoes in my size and I, I, I got them from My Teresa. I feel like My Teresa is where I get shoes in my big feet. So my Valentino Tangles, I got them like before everyone started going super crazy over the shoes. Um, and I found my size there. I got a 42 there. Um, in these particular boots, they came up to a 43. Um, so My Teresa has an amazing selection, shoe size selection if you have big feet they also i feel like they get shoes and they get merchandise before everyone else does so keep that in mind so i got ooh, they're so pretty it's the color it's ah how oh, fabulous i got the givenchy shark lock boots and a 42 they fit so well they are not painful they do not make my feet look big they are very 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 expensive in my opinion However, for me, because my feet are so big, I'm very limited in terms of shoes and what I can buy because I don't like buying shoes that make my feet look bigger than they are. Um, but putting these on, they just, ugh, they look amazing. They feel like butter. The leather is gorgeous. I love how you have that, um, the lock detail on this foot or leg rather, I guess, foot leg. And then you've got a different detail on the other so it's just an absolutely beautiful pair of shoes it is in this very beautiful light gray gray is an excellent complimentary color um so best believe i will be wearing these shoes with everything and another good thing about this particular shoe is that the brand has showcased the silhouette for years at least at least six or seven years if not longer if i'm correct so that just goes to that well that tells me that this is a good purchase because it's not a fad it's not something that's just it now and going away no the brand believes in this silhouette and they will continue to promote it so this was something that was always on my wish list and i'm so happy that i was able to just knock it out the ballpark i have them now and i have a great color that will work with everything and anything. So I cannot wait to style these for Fashion Week. So like I said, just keep on watching, guys, because I will style the hell out of these shoes, and you guys are going to love it. Promise. On to the next.
I just realized that I shared all the accessories and everything else. So now I'm going to pause it for a second. Actually, yeah, I'm going to pause it for a second because I want to share the clothing items that I got. I'm going to take this sweater off because I'm going to try on some of the pieces for you guys. Um, but yeah, we got some really, really, really good pieces. Let's get into it. All right. So the first piece of clothing that I'm going to share with you guys is this gorgeous jacket from Moose Knuckles. The brand sent me this jacket and the matching pants. I'm going to step back and share the matching pants in a second. But this jacket is gorgeous. It's everything. It is so warm. Like, I I was familiar with the brand, but not in depth. It is a Canadian brand. Um, so my assistant kind of reached out to them and they sent me their line sheet. So I picked an outfit. I did shoot it in Toronto and I did post it on Instagram. So if you've following if you're following me on instagram you've seen it already but it's just such an excellent piece i literally when i was shooting it i had nothing under the jacket and it was you know, winter day in canada it was cold not terribly cold but it was cold and i was sweating so if you need a coat that is just going to keep you warm anything from this brand but i will definitely link this particular one but they had so many cute ones i love this one um, I definitely want to take this with me to New York Fashion Week. I don't know how I want to style it yet, but I'm going to step back and share the pants with you guys because I have the perfect outfit in mind for the pants. And yes, I changed to the turtleneck because I feel like I'm going to be wearing turtlenecks for pretty much almost every outfit this fashion week because I'm keeping it very simple on top, but just really showing up and showing out with the bottom. So I'm going to step back so you guys can see these pants. They're really cool. They're really fun. And stay tuned up, um, for how I'm going to style them because I'm really going to elevate these pants. But I'm going to step back so you guys can see them. right so they're in that same kind of like shirling kind of finish um that that is just super cool i don't even know if it's real shirling i did not check actually but real shirling or not they are super comfortable they look really good and like i said for fashion week i am going to elevate them so i'm really going to dress them up so stay tuned for that now i've got so many more things actually before i don't have to take this off i'm going to share the next item with you guys it's this fabulous dress from banana republic all sequins it's kind of like a gown so this is another piece that I'm going to take with me to Fashion Week. Um, but what I want to do with this, I really want to elevate it. Actually, not elevate it. I want to dress it down because on its own, it's, you know, it's sequins. It's fun. But what I want to do is to kind of like tone it down a little bit and then just kind of make it very casual, cool. So um, the pieces that I want to wear it with are not all here yet. So just stay tuned for that. But this is going to be really fun. I feel like this will be a fun outfit, something very different. I think it's going to photograph really well as well. And just showing other options and other ways to kind of wear those dressier pieces that are in your wardrobe. Because I know we have a lot of dressy pieces and we're like, okay, how do I wear it now that the holidays are over? So this will be a great example of how you can take something that's very dressy and make it a bit more casual, cool, and wear it in the winter season. So very excited to share how I'm going to wear this with you guys. But yes, it's just a fun gown, very simple. It kind of does an A-line situation. It's got the slit at the back. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. Up next, I got this really fun skirt from Farfetch. This is a diesel long um, maxi denim skirt. I haven't tried it on just yet, so I'm gonna try it on with you guys. So I'm gonna pause it real quick while I throw it on and let's see how it fits. Hopefully it fits. I know I want to do a denim skirt look because I've been preaching about denim skirts to you guys, but I'm not sure how I want to style this one in particular just yet. I do have a couple of brands sending me pieces, so once those extra pieces come, then I can really just have fun and play around with the outfits. Um, literally, I'm recording this today's what? I think the second I think it's the second <laughs> and I'm going next week so I really don't have a lot of time to create my outfit so I think over the weekend I'm really gonna think about what the overall I, I have an idea general idea of what I want my style vibe to style vibe to be but for some reason nothing has clicked with this everything else the outfits are just there like I can literally picture an outfit and it just works but I haven't got it yet quite yet just with this so maybe I need to try it on so I'm gonna try it on for you guys real quick let's get into it Okay, so I knew that once I put it on, it would click and ah, oh, 
I'm gonna step back so you guys can see. As you can see, I'm getting very anxious and antsy because it looks so good. I used to be a denim specialist and I've always been a huge fan of Diesel and I feel like Diesel products in general last the test of time. I literally gave my daughter my old Diesel reversible bomber jacket, which is like 25 years old. Still looks immaculate. So I'm gonna step back, share this skirt with you guys. It is everything. It's actually better than I thought it would be. And I think the way I'm gonna wear this, I will definitely like unbutton it to like mid thigh. And then, oh my God, shout out to Layla. Layla found these Bottega flash boots, but in a slight more of a heel and they're super lightweight and on sale, like super, super sale. So they, I think they're arriving tomorrow. I'm praying that they fit me because those boots, they've got a very light green sole. Even though I have the Bottega green, this one is almost like a mint green. It's close, but it's it's still very different. So I'm thinking those boots with this, I just need a top. And I don't want to buy anything else. Like I really don't want to buy anything. So I'm trying to think if I have anything crop or if I can find something cheap and cheerful because I want to make sure a lot of my outfits for fashion week are be, I'm incorporating old pieces and not just everything new so but we'll see um but yeah the skirt is definitely a keep I love love it I'm gonna try and make sure I link everything just in case you guys are interested I know we're not supposed to be shopping January's over it's February now but you know if we don't need it we don't want to buy it but if we feel the spirit moving us like the spirit has been moving me then go for it let's have fun on to the next Okay, so the next item is this beautiful shirt from Dion Lee. I really don't want to try it on. I probably should, but it's all nice and crisp and it needs a good steaming. Um, I don't want to take this top off, so I'm going to try it on top of the top. So let's do that. Okay, so let's see how this fits. I also got this on sale. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, ooh, it's cute. I, I know I have the shirt on, but you guys can picture it with me. It's just a classic white shirt, really, in terms of everything else. And then the button down, this is why I got it, because of this, the pop open detail on the, um, on the side. And I love this piece just hanging. Oh, really cute. I have to have a look at this myself. One moment, please, while I check myself out in the mirror. <gasps> But I already knew I was gonna love it. I love white shirts. Um, I love white shirts. I have so many of them and I don't like ironing. So I feel like when they're new, they're crisp, they're beautiful. This one's everything. It's so good. And I did get it on sale. I don't know if I said that already, but I got it on sale at Farfetch. They're having some good sales. And that's the thing, doing a no shop January is hard because everything's on sale like everything. So it only makes sense to buy in January and then don't buy in February or March. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, you guys are going to die when you see this next piece. It's from Hanifa. Um, in the process of me just knowing that I was going to Fashion Week, I immediately went to the Hanifa website to see what I could find. And this skirt, and it comes with a matching like little mesh thingy majingy. I figured this would be excellent because when I go on tropical trips this year, I can wear it and wear the bra top alone, you know, with the skirt. But for fashion week, I'm definitely going to be pairing it with black. And I already kind of like tested out an outfit with my Valentino platforms and this skirt. And it's just everything. I know you guys are like, let's see the skirt, let's get the skirt. <laughs> I'm going to step back so you guys can see it. It's everything. It's so good. It makes my bum look excellent. Like it's just a fabulous skirt and it looks great with just a simple black top. I think I'm going to wear it with either a black bodysuit. So that means I need to buy a black bodysuit, turtleneck bodysuit. I don't think I have one. Hmm. Or maybe a, do a biker shirt with it. It is kind of, it's a knit, it's a crochet knit so you can kind of see through. So I do need to make sure I'm wearing some kind of like bodysuit or whatever under it. Um, because my in my head I'm going to probably wear a crop jacket. So you can really see the detail, but it's going to be so much fun. Or I might just wear pantyhose because it's going to be cold as well in New York. So, but I'm going to definitely have fun with this. I saw Monroe bought this skirt, um, this set as well. It's just such a fun piece and the color is so vibrant and fun. 
Um, but I really can't wait for you guys to see how I style this because it's going to look absolutely just, oh, just scrumptious and delicious and perfect for Fashion Week. I love it. And I love the fact that I can wear it in the fall, winter, and also carry it into the, you know, the hotter, warmer seasons or take it to a tropical um, destination. So it's all about getting that cost per wear. On to the next. Okay, so another piece I got also from Hadifa are these cargo pants. They are stunning. When I tell you they're stunning, oh. I think that, I don't know, like there's so many, I got a lot of really good pieces. I actually did get another pair of pants from Hanifa, but they didn't fit, they were too big. So I'm gonna, you know, I, I, I guess, and this is one of the things I kinda don't like, they don't have a return policy just for gift cards, um, but which is fine because that means I'll just go back and get something else and continue to support the brand that way. But um, I love these pants. I'm going to step back so you guys can see them. And then I'm going to try on the last piece, which is the, <gasps> the finale. But I'm going to step back so you guys can see these pants because they are stunning. Absolutely friggin' gorgeous. Like, can we have a moment about what it's doing for my waist? Like, you guys know I have more of an athletic build, very straight, um, but I do have a bum, but it's just really singeing my waist and making my waist look smaller, and I love that. I love it. The fabric on this is absolutely stunning. It's a very light organza, so this can transition from winter to summer seamlessly, and they're just everything. It's the details. I don't remember how much they cost, but I do know that they were pretty in my opinion for luxury this is a mid-range luxury brand the price points were amazing because i got the three pieces i got that set i got a pair of um faux leather pants and these pants for i think about 700 dollars. so when you think about it like that's still like the price of the acne studio even less than or half of the acne studio cargo pants that everybody was going crazy over you know so i would say support hanifa support these brands because the fabric amazing workmanship exceptional the design, the craft, everything. Very, very, very impressed. Very impressed. I had one other piece from Hanifa, which unfortunately my drag cleaners ruined. So I really, after getting these three pieces, I really feel like I will definitely be investing more into this brand because when I say I'm impressed, I'm not kidding. Obsessed. So now, let's get that last piece. Ooh. Another thing, if you're following, sorry, ignore the ding of my phone. I'm sorry. I'm too excited about this stuff. If you're following me on Instagram, you know I did like this whole like little meme about Prada and some of their prices. So there was this leather jacket that I saw and I fell in love with it and I was just like, oh my God, I want it, I need it. You know, I, I used to be a leather specialist so I have love for leather. I have leather pieces in my closet that are way over 20 years old. So I was just like, okay, I want the jacket. One moment while I silence my phone, please. Sorry about that. As I was saying with my, li my little story, um, so I checked out the jacket and I shared this in my stories and everything and it was like 12,000 something some some basically and I was just like oh hell no I used to work for the product group so I know there's nothing that's worth that much so but so that also got me looking around and then I found this crop jacket I know before you say it's useless it's too short you're gonna be cold keep in mind I live in Atlanta and I also get really hot and as long as my top is covered, I'm fine. Oh, but I love it. It's so cute. Ah. <laughs> I love it. And then with a piece like this that just singes my waist and all the other pieces, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The hoodie is not reversible, which is fine, but it's so warm. I'm just wearing it for like a few seconds and I'm so warm. It's nice and long. I think I went up, to, I did go up a size because I wanted it to be a bit more, you know, fuller and not overly fitted and I'm happy I did go up a size because it would barely cover my bust otherwise and I still want at least my top part and my organs at least this part to be warm um but yeah I love it like I'm happy like it's so good sorry about that my battery died anywho the jacket is is it not fabulous I love it it was definitely pricey um for a crop jacket it's Prada so yes the the price point and in fairness to prada with the exception of the leather jacket which i just think is outrageously priced 
I have Prada boots that are almost 30 years old. So we know that it'll last. It's such a fun piece. When I'm tired of a piece like that, I'll give it to my daughter. So I'm very, very happy with it. I'm happy with all these pieces. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to share all the other pieces once they come in with you guys. Of course, I will share them on Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you guys are following me there. Make sure you guys follow along so that way you don't miss this New York Fashion Week um, content because it's going to be good. Like when I tell you it's going to be good, I'm not kidding. Um, and in, a, in an extension of my style for success dress like a boss series if you guys have not seen my new series make sure you check it out it is so good I I kind of took your feedback from last year's New York Fashion Week where you guys were like you know you really love the fact that I was putting all these other amazing beautiful women on a pedestal and I kind of used that as inspiration to create a series that focused on women who are just killing it in their field these are overachievers these are doctors lawyers um, CEOs entrepreneurs designers influencers just people that are doing phenomenally well and looking good while they do it um, so I, I already have a about four or five interviews under my belt and it's just really talking to everyday real women who love fashion and just sharing like style tips about their personal style but also tips for success and tips for how to just win and to put yourself forward in the corporate um, world so I hope you guys watch the series if it didn't pop up on your timeline just go ahead and go to my you know my page and check it out I will also link it in the description box of this video that way you guys can check out who I've interviewed so far during fashion week we're gonna have like rapid questions for the girls so you guys can see all their fashion and get some tips from them as well but I'm so happy that you guys watched the video let me know which piece was your favorite let me know which piece you guys didn't love let's keep it you well, you guys for the most part you are always really generous and gracious with your comments and they're never um, What's the word that I'm looking for? They're never um, malicious. So, but I would like to know your thoughts about the pieces that I got. I really can't wait for you guys to see how I style everything because it's going to be so much fun. You guys know I live, I live for styling pieces. So I really can't wait um, to share all of that with you guys. And hopefully it'll serve as inspiration for you guys. So just keep on watching the channel. It's going to be an amazing year. I finally feel like myself you know shooting and being excited and all of that fun stuff so I'm, I'm getting back to normal so it's 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 a good place to be in but anywho thank you so much for watching make sure you follow me on instagram odd by Monty. make sure you follow me on tiktok odd by Monty. and make sure you check out my website oddbymonica.com and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys thanks for watching